Hello, it is July 29th, which is weird. This morning I went to the gym. I know, right? And then I just showered and now I am sitting here editing my vlog from yesterday because I had a late night last night and I did not have time to edit this. So yeah, oh my god, I didn't even notice. Look at my face. Oh god, that is not cute. I'm also cooking lunch for myself. I'm making some pasta. I have to work 3 to 8 gonna be a great day I have like half a face of makeup on I just like did my face makeup I'm like oh I'm too lazy for my eyes right now so I'll do that later I'm also eating the last pecan pie bar thing remember when I made those wow memories this is my day so far I don't think it's gonna get that much better but I'll keep you updated much success much success I made that perfectly al dente so I'm master chef right now plus I feel like there's cheese all over my mouth, that's embarrassing. You know when you go to Italian restaurants and they have like the bread and then olive oil and parmesan cheese that you can dip it in? Olive oil and parmesan cheese is like probably the best combination of things ever. So when you put it on your pasta, it's like straight up absolutely delicious. And if you haven't tried it, go do it right now. Just let me know. Work time, yay! I'm currently driving, trying to find a parking spot. And it looks a little better than yesterday. Remember yesterday I was freaking out because I was like, oh, there's no parking spots. This is not as bad as it could be at all. So I think I'm gonna turn in here and try to find one. But I think I saw a spot when I was driving by. Was, did I not see that? Yeah, it's right, no, oh uh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. God, trying to find parking is actually the most annoying thing in the world. Hello, I'm driving home from work, you know, just what I do every day of my life basically. And they were trying to get me to work till 10, but I made plans tonight, so uh, no, I'm going home at eight, thank you very much. I felt kind of bad because the store is like a mess and there's only three people plus the manager closing, so I felt kind of bad, but at the same time, I didn't want to cancel my plans because I'm very excited for them, so. Okay, it's a Tuesday and there were so many foreigners here. Usually on the weekends is when we get a lot of like people that don't live around here. There were so many different ethnicities that I saw today and the hard part is they don't speak English or very, very little English. So when I'm at the register and I'm trying to like check them out and everything, I can't communicate with them and they just, they come up to me, they're like, oh no, English. And I'm like, okay. I mean, we can still do the transaction. It's just, you know, I tell them and then they swipe their card and that's about it. Or they use cash or they, <laughs> they take a very long time to figure out how much cash they want to spend because, you know, the US dollars, you know? And I get that. If I was in a foreign country and I had to like pop out my euros and try to pay really fast, it wouldn't go so hot. When I am standing there for five minutes while you look around your change purse to try to like figure out how much cash you want to use and the line is forming behind you and there's nothing I can do about it, because I'm not going to tell you, oh, please hurry up and give me your cash. Like, I can't say that. So it's just a little frustrating. I wish some people would just kind of be considerate and think ahead of time if they're going to pay with cash, you know, figure out what the different bills mean and what they need to pay with. And some people just think they're like entitled for me to help them, which I am supposed to help you. That's my job as a, a store associate. They like interrupt me while I'm ringing up a customer to ask me a question. I'm like, okay, there's many other employees in this store. You could go ask them too. I'm kind of busy here. Or like, can you help me find this size? Can you tell me how much this costs? No, I can't. I'm ringing up a customer right now. I can't just leave them and help you. I'm sorry. I want to help everybody that I can, but I am one person and I'm trying to help one person at a time. Or they approach my register while I'm ringing somebody up and just like put their stuff down there. And I'm like, okay, in my head, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm ringing this person up. I have all of their things here. Your things can wait. Can you hold them in your arms, please, until I'm done ringing this person up? Thank you. Sorry that the drive home from work always just becomes a major rant session, but I usually have nobody to rant to about these things, so this is really good for me. Customers can be a pain. 
stylist sometimes. If you've ever worked retail, I'm sure you know. Sorry for the ranting. I think I'm gonna, okay, now you are tailing me and I'm going five above the speed limit. I don't know what your problem is. Go into the other lane, please, if you don't like my driving. Thank you very much. Why do people exist? <laughs> that was mean. Why do people have to be so rude? I don't know. Oh my God, get off my butt. Get, thank you, lane change, thank you. Don't give me a look, don't you dare give me a look, mister. Anyways, I think I need to stop because I'm getting very worked up now. And I'm just gonna go home and eat something and then, yeah, my friend is coming over, so cool beans. I'll talk to you later. Hello, oh. <laughs> I should really learn to clear my throat before I start talking. Hello. I'm going to do my question real quick and then head to bed and, well, actually that's why I need to edit this first because tomorrow I won't have time and then head to bed. So, July 29th. Oh my god, July's going so fast. What was the last road trip you took? Usually over the summer, me and my friends do at least like one road trip, kind of, but we haven't done any yet. I want to say, I mean, I guess from school back home, like moving out of school back home because that's like an hour and a half drive or more so that's kind of like a road trip I was with my mom we had fun we rocked out to Lincoln Park so that was my last road trip I guess I really need to get on that and try to organize a road trip for this summer anyways I'm going to go there are only two days left of fly July that blows my mind I'm kind of sad I will talk to you tomorrow bye